Instagram. This this vlog for today was partnered by Excellence Safaris. That's our company. Today, guys, we are in Moors Old Tunya National Park here in Livingston. So today's vlog is different, but there's one thing which I uh, which I want you to know. In case maybe you want to visit Livingston and you you need more advice about adventure. Hello, my name is Lucky Muzuni and I work for Excellence Safaris, that's our company. In case uh, you need any activities when it comes to tourism in Livingston, you can contact me for game drives, boat cruises, bungee jumping, uh, any activities, even camping, we do arrange everything. If you want uh, where to lodge, hotels, all that, just contact us, then uh, we'll be in touch with you and uh, we'll offer you our services. Ah, this game drive's been pretty good, I'd say. It's the best one that I've been on so far. We got nice and personal watching the uh, giraffes drink and we were watching the, the elephants eat the amarula seeds. And, you know, it's, we haven't quite seen a zebra, but I'm sure we'll get there. Um, we saw a wee, wee lizard and lots of impala. This place is very animal rich, so, yeah, it's top notch. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are in Livingston, Zambia, the tourist capital of Zambia. Livingston is so so amazing, like it has a lot going on, a lot of activities going on. But today's video is mainly focused about nature and wildlife. <laughs> yeah, so I want you all to take time to watch this. But before we go any further, as usual, kindly subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And also, don't forget to click on that bell icon that you're seeing there so that you can get notified every time when I post content on this channel. Join me as we embark on our tour in the Mosotunia National Park. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation. Is it more so Tunyan or, or more so Tunyan National Park? Anyway, either ways. <laughs> so join us as we get to explore the more so Tunyan National Park with my fellow travelers from different countries. That's Peter and his friends. So today's video was partnered by Excellent Safaris. This company is so, so, so unique, guys. It's so unique. It made it all possible for me to capture everything that I needed. Yeah, it's so, so amazing. And if, you want, if you're planning to visit Livingston and uh, you need someone to advise you more about Livingston or maybe you are looking out for a place to lodge in Livingston, you should get in touch with this company. The numbers, they are on the screen and the description of this video. You can call them, text, and then or WhatsApp. They will get back to you. So let me list down their services. Game drive, a Chobe National Park day trip with lunch, helicopter tour with hotel pickup, restaurant safari with food testing, scenic day tour, lunch and helicopter flight, scenic micro light flight, Zimbabwe traditional village tour, Livingstone Island tour and Devil's Pool, one hour scenic quad bike adventure. Finally today I've released this one. I, I've been working so hard like I've been trying so hard to make at least one content. Not even one. I've been trying so hard to make more content. It's just that I've been busy and uh, I just had a lot to do and so many things. I'm still working on my content creation and all that but I'm so grateful that today I'm feeding you guys with another new vlog which is about uh, game drive and uh and you see everything let me not spill the beans you know <laughs> so guys i just hope you're going to enjoy this video for today So this is the entrance now. From here, we're going to proceed. I think they just need some verifications. And then from there, we proceed. Yeah. So there's a Zambezi River there. There's a Zambezi River. And we just left the gate just a few, few minutes ago. Yeah. So there's a Zambezi River that side and there's some boats. So now I think we're heading this way. Yeah. 
Now we are in the national park, Musotunya National Park. Yeah. And there's some, I don't know if it's some, some guidance here. Safety guides, I think so. The public of Zambia needs to look for tourism and arts. Anyway. Yeah. When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you lost I am so so excited today creating content <laughs> in this park and I'm expecting more 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 of exciting view and you know me I, I don't talk much on my videos like like others do Fast forward, fast forward, few minutes later we reached at the site where the rhinos are. So as you can see that car parking over there in white, that's, uh, that's for the game rangers, those who are guarding the, the, the rhinos. Yeah, so from here I'll keep on showing you guys just 
expect more. Keep on watching. Thank you. So from here to where the rhinos are, we are going to walk straight in a single line. So these are the species of the white rhino. By the way, lots of people get confused. They say white rhinos, other things. Even the animals are white in color. <laughs> How old is that one, do you think? That one is two. And let me just share with you guys like one funny thing about this this thing like of going in places like this like visiting these places like you get to hear so many different sounds like the sounds that you've never heard before like as for me it's my first time the sounds i'm getting now like humans like different different kind of uh sounds so confusing you know <laughs> you end up being scared like the good part is that it's daytime now i can just imagine if it's uh night oh yo yeah, yeah, i can't survive <laughs> i can't survive guys it's so 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 scary like i mean it's scary yeah i just keep hoping that we get to meet different animals that i've never seen before yeah because elephants i've seen elephants before and uh, just hoping to get to meet new new things So for impalas, you'll be able to differentiate the males and the females from the horns. Males are the ones that carry horns. Females do not have horns. Probably been chased uh, from the group by the dominant male. Because for impalas, uh, the dominant male usually chases uh, the young ones when they get to maturity, then they'll be chased from the group. Both are the males and the females, and there are competition for the females from the young males. So it has to chase them out from the group. Can they rejoin the group? No. From there, they are what we call bachelor heads for impalas, where you find only male impalas. That's where it can only be welcomed. 
because uh, for impalas the heads are divided into two. There is a, bat uh, a bachelor head, a nursery head, and a breeding head. So from the breeding head, that's where you find uh, the females and the dominant male around. And then where you find only females with their young ones, that's a nursery head. And the bachelor head, that's where we find the young males. So for this one now, unless when it grows uh, strong enough to fight, that's when it can go back to the group to challenge the dominant male. Yeah. Then the winner of the fight is the one that's going to take over the females. Like one male impala can get to have even about uh, 40 females. Just alone. Yeah, there's another young male. That's a female. The kids are young, though the small one is a male. Oh, another one. It's curious. It's like a... Huh? Oh, Uh, what usually happens in this park if an animal dies they just uh, leave it where it has died from and other scavengers will come and uh, benefit from it if they are sick they don't get medicine from a ranger or something just no, nature they do not get medicine but if it dies they only come out uh, to test it to see the cause of death if it's a natural death then uh, they will leave it there but mm. in case if it was any disease to avoid other animals are uh, contacting that disease then they have to burn it like a like a pelvis, like a human. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a really big person. <laughs> <laughs> the Nephilim. Yeah, actually, it could be. Get <laughs> <laughs> it? Oh, for elephants, uh, it's difficult for them uh, when it comes at dying because they do not have uh, natural predators. And let's just ask the humans when it comes to like, putting them for the ivory. So when an elephant dies here, does the government take the ivory from the body? Yes, they do. What makes ivory so special? Actually, it's used uh, 
they do use it uh, when it comes to cargo there are maybe some sculptures, bangles Uh, around searching for food, mm. the crocodile's worst enemy. Is that noise? Actually, impala. that's just an impala. Oh. Uh, this uh, looks to be like a nursery head because I cannot see the dominant male around. So, if we find uh, only the females and uh, their young ones, that is what we call a nursery head. Then if uh, the dominant male is present, then that's a breeding head. So can any other male that's been kicked out of a different head come to one of these or No, for the males breeding? for the males they have to fight. If another male comes then that's a fight. growing because for elephants they grow much bigger than this they use the ears to cool themselves right yeah they use the ears okay. to cool themselves yeah i'm just letting you can one in the but this is an Angola tree. Yes. Actually, I wanted you to test some now because of the elephants. I cannot go down there. <laughs> he looks like he's smiling. I like how the young ones yeah. don't have full control of their trunk yet. That's so cute. Actually, the small movement so looks a little more awkward from these little ones. That's when it's trying uh, to gain uh, full control. Because uh, for elephants here yeah, from birth, they do not even like, get to have any control. And then as it's growing now, maybe by uh, three months, it will start uh, developing now that feeling to start using the trunk. So how, how old is that one? So that one could even be about uh, four months now. Because mm. that's where it's step. No, go! <laughs> <laughs> Do the elephants ever uh, get near the rhinos or do they try to stay away from each other? No, actually these two stay away from each other because whenever they meet up, then it will be a fight. Okay, they, the two species do not like each other. Elephant poop flammable? Actually, because I know rhinoceros and camel poop is. Yeah, even uh, elephant poop. Yeah. What does it mean, Jinu?
plant mom. That's a male. Yes, that's a male. Because of the color? Because mm -hmm. it's a brown. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, for the males, the order they grow, that's the jacket they'll be getting in color. Okay, I want to find the male car. I've seen this nap is up a minute. Okay, I want to find Okay, I think it wants to drink. Yeah, shy. <laughs> so you will get to see how it drinks when it uh, goes for the elephant. Uh, for the giraffe, despite having that long neck, the head cannot reach the ground. So from there, it has to spread its legs for it to be able to get to the ground. Okay, are you dangerous or not? <laughs> Are there crocodiles in there? No. Uh, sometimes they do come around because uh, they find difficulties when it comes to drinking water, the giraffes. So you see now it's spreading the legs. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, I thought they'd do it different. <laughs> So most of the times what these animals do is that uh, they just target leaves with high water content so that it will help them not to get uh, thirsty. It looks stupid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the tongue also is really funny. Yeah. And they fight. These have an extra long fight? tongue and it's purple. <laughs> it helps it out from sunburn the car. <laughs> <laughs> At the San Diego Zoo, they have an exhibit where you can hand feed the giraffes. Yeah. And they tell you, like, yo, if you make too much noise, you piss off the giraffes, he will smash you with his head. Yeah. Fuck you up. Shelly wants to go down again. It's being disturbed by the other vehicle's engine, so it's trying to look out first. That's so uncomfortable. So, how do they sleep? So for giraffes, they can sleep while standing. It's I'm very like much cows. easy for them. <laughs> Though when it comes uh, to getting to the ground, yeah, sometimes they do sit, but they cannot lay their head on the ground. So when they, uh, when they mate, do they mount each other like horses and other? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. What is this? Uh, I thought the legs I would be like this. Like <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends. Others do open them wide and yeah. they start keep going low. Mm -hmm. Do the different species try to avoid each other or do they get along? Or No, actually for giraffes, yeah, they do get along. Okay, they'll herd together? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do they mate together? Yes, they do. So you, sometimes you have hybrid giraffes?
some might say it's a god but like at a distance you just see blue thing like blue no that's water that's zambezi river that's the zambezi the mighty zambezi river i should say i i think it's the best way to put it like mighty zambezi river because it's a long 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 route like i don't know how many countries because here it demarcates two countries that's um, zimbabwe and zambia it's a very beautiful place to be like you see the water flow in the store like i can see rocks i can see rocks lying down there it's so amazing so so amazing One advantage of traveling with different people that you, you just meet for the first time is that you get to interact and learn more from each other. And this is my friend standing on the other side, which I couldn't show the face because uh, she's camera shy. <laughs> yeah, I just hope you could, uh, I just hope we'll meet someday again. Yeah, she's a good friend. She's a very good friend. Yeah, nice meeting, so. huh? <laughs> we had, we just had a chat. Because normally when we have heavy rains, like mostly like uh, uh, water reaches, yeah, yeah. like somewhere here. Because it, it didn't rain much this mm -hmm. year. Right? Yeah. Okay. We have been experiencing some drought, but even, like, sometimes just like the boats just swim down river. Yeah, mostly like sunset during sunset. It has been a long day. Ah, don't mind my voice, guys. <laughs> I've been having flu, so my voice is not that clear enough. I really hope you enjoyed the video because I'll be posting a similar video to this one. Don't forget to follow the, 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 the guidance. Oh, sorry. Don't forget to check out the description of this video so that you get to understand more about this video because I'm currently in Livingston. In case maybe you want to feature in one of my vlogs, you can. We can still get in touch. I really appreciate it if you do as well.